right, floss tube. And also the singing stitcher here. It's been a while. That would be Lola. She doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've done a video. No excuses, just lazy. Um, welcome to the room that we like to call our library. Or it's a mess. Just do a quick little tour here. Um, we like to read. My husband likes uh, Star Wars and Star Trek. Yeah. So I'm going to try and move you again slowly. The reason we are here is I moved my stash. It used to be on a dresser in our spare bedroom. Now it's in this dresser on that bookcase, on that bookcase, and on that bookcase. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the treadmill that, let's see, gets used oh so often, if I can find it, there. there. Um, yeah, so that would be the reason for the television and the PlayStation, which acts as the DVD player and the stereo. I can't remember why we actually have the stereo there. But anyway, when we feel like being on the treadmill, uh, I like to watch things like Netflix, uh, DVDs, whatever. It just sort of takes my mind off of the fact that I'm actually exercising. But anyway, you're not here for that. So I joined the uh, Stitch From Stash 2017A Facebook group and thank you very much for letting me join. Um, yeah, because, uh, hi, my name is Vanessa and I have a problem. Yeah, um, I really do. You know how y you know you have a lot of stash, um, but part of you kind of doesn't really comprehend just how much stash you actually have until you move it. Yeah, I know you can see those pencil marks on the dresser there. I don't know what they're from. No, I don't. Unless that drawer was opened up against the treadmill at one time. Because, yeah, in its current position, uh, I can't put the running surface down. But whatevs. Uh, not that I run. I walk. Uh, I had initially thought maybe I could switch out that bookcase and put it there and put the dresser over there. But uh, my husband wasn't too keen on moving furniture. But I'm thinking that maybe the better way to go because then the treadmill can be down all the time. But I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure that out because it's not like I use it. So, like I said, hi, I'm Vanessa and I have a problem. Um, just a quick sort of little go through here. I have a little basket here. I bought these. These things are friggin wicked. They come in different colors. Uh, I got it from Ikea. Here and I'll show you an empty one. They came in three different sizes. This lovely cube, that rectangle, and the larger cubes down there. Uh, notice the bottom. It's got a zipper. You undo that zipper, this thing collapses. It's perfect. Anyway, uh, so yeah, here's a little bit of stash. Here's a Dimensions Charts and Charms kit. Um, copyright 1996. Yep, 1996, people. Have not done it. Oh, shit, I'm moving too much. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a little calendar I got with a magazine. Passione Ricamo. Uh, let's see. Let's see can you make this work without moving too many things? There's another Passione Ricamo. Never stitched. Here's a new way. Uh, here's another new way. Just trying to get those. Uh, I drank Kool-Aid and got the Celtic Ladies from Lavender and Lace. So here's Noel. It's 
spring. Uh, winter. Uh, we... Autumn. And summer. Obviously none of them have been stitched before. Uh, here is an Alessandro Adelaide, uh, Foresta Magica. Uh, here is the Holly Tree by Scissor Tail Designs. Oh, here's another Alessandro Adelaide, and it is Peacock. So that's the stash I have in that little, little box that lives on the, uh, bookcase. So yeah, that one, where did I put that? Just right there. Um, that is just fabric that I forgot to put away last night because that's how I roll. Um, Mr. Potato Head stuff. <laughs> I know. Random. Uh, Nor Corbett, Mirabilia. Oh, I joined the Many and Mirabilia group on Facebook. Thank you very much. And I started my first Mirabilia last night. So I suppose I should say today is Saturday, November the 5th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I started it last night, which it was Friday, November the 4th. And that was to mark Nora Corbett's birthday. Um, I have a couple whips on the go. So basically I got it started. I can now say I've started my first Mira. It is the Halloween Fairy, Fairy Kit. And I don't have it with me because it's upstairs where I was stitching. But anyway. You've probably seen me show these before, but um, I got a bunch. So let's see, we've got, oh crap, which one are you? Rudolph, duh, red nose, Rudolph. This isn't very focused. It's kinda boopy. Oh, that's a zoom, check it out. Updated the iPad, didn't know that was existing. Uh, who are you? Comment. Yeah, sorry for the glare from the overhead light. The lighting down here in the basement isn't the greatest. Ah, uh, who are you? Blitzen? Vixen? Cupid? Uh, Dancer? Santa's sleigh, Prancer, uh, Donner, Dasher. Okay, uh, now we have Raven, Eva. Kind of hard to hold. I'm out of practice. Uh, Xenia. Minerva. Gigi. Oh, careful. Uh, Gwen. Anna. This is Jasmine, How are you? Wisteria, Ivy, Holly. Uh, yeah, like I said, the first one I ever started was last night, so got a bunch. Geranium. Uh, got, I got a few more, sorry. This is Evening Primrose. Well, I should say I have more than a few more. And this is Water Lily. So these were all the Nora Corbett's. Now for the Mirabilia's. This one I bought from somebody on Kijiji. Um... To buy and sell sort of thing here in Canada. Um, this is Santa by Nora Corbett. 
Uh, let's see if I can open this just a smidge so I can say what. MD120. Um, yeah, and it's a full coverage mirror. I've never seen that before, but it was $4, so I bought it off this woman. Oh, what is this? Bliss Fairy. Petal Fairy. Moonflowers. At the Met. Don't knock that over. Lady Hera. Sleeping Princess, or as I like to say, Princess and the Pea. And then the last Mirabilia in this is the Raven Queen. So yeah, like I said, hi, my name is Vanessa and I have a problem. Um, from what I've shown you just in these two containers, uh, that's more than two years of stitching at least. That's probably five years worth of stitching. I guess it depends on how quick I stitch, but you know, I work full time. <laughs> and then I work part time to pay for my stitching habit apparently. Um, it was supposed to help pay some bills, but no, it pays for my addiction, which is cross stitch. So I suppose it could be worse. Sorry, moving. That gets to go back down there. I'm going to take a little seat here. You'll see I've got some magazine holders. So this one is my uh, holiday magazines. Oops. That was a fail. Halloween, Christmas, Christmas. Uh -oh, what else? These are old American magazines like Cross Stitch and Country Crafts for the love of cross stitch. Uh... Yeah, that was a quick pattern. Those are purchases from like Etsy that I uh, I printed. They're all in page protectors. Uh, this one, um, more purchases from Etsy. Yeah, just they're in page protectors. Um, and the reason they're in magazine holders is because my binders are full. Yeah, uh, whew, I'm out of shape. Those two magazine holders have uh, British magazines in them. Those are my cross stitch books. Uh, that container there is more books. Um, for those of you who have found me on Instagram, oh crap, bending, sorry. Ow. Um, Singing Stitchers, it's the same name. Um, I've posted this. It's my work in progress. Um, haven't really worked on it much recently. It's a little too intricate to take to work where I have constant interruptions. So yeah, um, I think it's worked on here at home. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so there's pictures on Instagram and I posted a couple pictures in uh, Carly Stitch Mania. I don't have any of my works in progress down here because I don't stitch down here. They're all upstairs. I've got the Wise Old Witch that I've been posting on Instagram. I've got this Howling Wolf and I have the Halloween Fairy from Mira. So yeah, Stony Creek, Woodland Wildlife. Yeah, I'm going to do this. The Omni book, where I've stitched a number of patterns from. Oh, let's go back over here. I've stitched that bear, so now I'm stitching the wolf. Don't know that I'll stitch them up. They, we call them cougars here. I guess it's a mountain lion. Don't think I'll stitch the skunk. However, I may stitch that moose. Who knows? So yeah, Omni book. Fox, zebras, fox. I stitched a couple things out of there. Yeah, just random books. Oh, pattern. 
Don't show that. Bad. Random books. These are all things I've gone through before in my stash. Just like the mirrors. For some reason, I felt like I had to show the mirrors again. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, I'm gonna put this back without breaking anything, myself included. Oh, there we go. Um, fabric. Like I said, I forgot to put fabric away last night. This is 16 count Ada. Uh, and I fabrics by Stephanie. Have no idea when I ordered this. Uh, the color is, is Ocean Tide. And I know, it's in cellophane. Can't see it. Again, fabrics by Stephanie, 16 counts. This is called Abyss. Uh, what else do we have here? Fabrics by Stephanie again. This one is called Storm. And then these ones were, I believe they were Silk, silk Weaver. So, you know, the people that get complained about all the time because their customer service is bad. Um, yeah. Can't remember when I went, oh, February 2016. So there we go. Um, so. Let's go through my drawers, shall we? Doesn't sound kind of rude. Floss. My magnets, if and when I ever feel like making needle minders. Moving on down. We have 14 and 16 count fabric. Yeah. I have a whole drawer for 14 and 16 count fabric. Yeah. Can you see why? Hi, my name is Vanessa and I have a problem. This drawer is kind of a mishmash. Um, these two rolls here, 14 and 18 count, they're actually too big to fit that way in the drawer. So they actually fit diagonally. Um, this is my 18 and 22 count fabric drawer as well as it houses things like perforated paper, some finishes. That's what these are. Um, let's see. Ooh, there's some finishes I haven't shown you. Yeah. I don't know if I ever showed you this. We will see. Mm. This is hard. Pulling fabric out of uh, out of a box. Yeah. Ow. Okay, so oh. Okay, and I rolled it so it wouldn't. This is the Tardis chasing the Dalek. Done on 14 count white. We are done in here. Three things. Plain old fabric. No. Just look. See, I got smart. Instead of folding them, I'm putting them in here. But I'm doing these one handed. Kind of difficult. So let's see what was in here. Oh, yes. These are from the Subversive Cross Stitch, so that would be you suck. One of my favorites. Uh, here's another one. It's not mean if it's hilarious. Yeah, have... oh, another one here. Just hang on. <sighs> Let's see. I will be taking the Wise Old Witch with me to work tonight. I work 4 to 9.30 at the liquor store, so hopefully I will have time to do some stitching. This here is Live Long and Prosper. And this was done, well, started in September. I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head when I started, when I finished, but this was done for the Star Trek cell for the 50th anniversary. Uh, one, more. one more roll, anyway. Come on. This is going to be fun to put away when I'm done. Lots of fun. Come on. Out. Out. Okay. Really? Obviously. I'm just winging it here. Um, here we go. Sucks to be you. There's another one from Subversive Cross Stitch. 
And then, oh, last one. Get in there. Please kill me. Now this, I need to find a frame for it and frame and give to a coworker. She chose it. Um, she also just bought a house. So I'm going to give it to her as a housewarming. Uh, this, I need to find a frame for it and frame and send it to my cousin in Toronto because some of you on Instagram may have saw. <laughs> he was like, hey, that's cool. Can I have it? So yeah. Um, and if you're interested in well, following an artist, his name is Matthew Holiday Artist. Let's see, can we close this with everything in disarray here? Maybe. So I'm show you the last drawer. Oh, look. Awesome. Okay, kits. This drawer. Yeah, it's pretty well full of kits. So, again, hi. My name is Vanessa, and I have a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those binders are full of patterns, too. Yeah, we're not going through those. Um, so, yeah, that is... That is my uh, Stitch from Stash video, I guess, for the year. I have nothing planned. I've got... Uh, I've signed up for, if, for lack of a better term, for some cells for next year. Um, currently the November one, actually it's not even November, I'm not in one for November, other than I guess the Mirabilia one for Nora's birthday. Uh, basically I'm just trying to finish The Howling Wolf and The Witch, and yeah. Once The Witch is finished I have to find something else to do that's uh, easy to do um, while I'm at work with interruptions. And that's great, because that door doesn't want to open. So I'm going to let you all go now. I'm going to upload this video. And yeah. There may be another one soon. I don't know if I'm going to post one of my recital or not. We'll see. Take care, everyone. Happy stitching. Bye.